here's a keyboard it looks like this it's from rocket horde rocket horde silent hunter the keys are a bit silent it's not a mechanical keyboard judging by the image the keys are using the german layout but surprise it's a us layout keyboard german design and engineering rocket horde that's the box easy shift duplication zone low profile macro keys these so these are taller these are shorter configurable tuning wheel and keys here's the wheel on the upper right corner improved anti-ghosting lighting system macro keys these on the side configurable keys tuning wheel is this one precision layout with fast key actuation actuation speed 5 milliseconds so compared to the standard membrane keyboard which has 9 milliseconds of latency or something like that this horde membrane keyboard has 7.8 and the macro keys since they are not as tall they have even less latency arm cortex 50 megahertz 512 kilobyte of memory 1000 hertz polling rate 1.2 millimeter actuation point for macro keys wheel encoder with tactile steps 1.8 meter braided cable yes it has a usb cable so it's not a ps2 keyboard 910 grams weight almost a kilogram so it contains the keyboard itself quick installation guide and disposable information system requirements windows 7 32 bit or windows 8 and 10 usb 2 port at least and an internet connection for driver installation made in china yes it has a windows key also the other one is not a windows key but a function key okay let's open it it has one two three and four stickers for locking it black box it has some weight it's not too lightweight mechanical keyboards are even heavier quick installation guide stickers whatever and that's it so it looks like this It's not a push button, it's flat on the side. It has some rubber here. Rubber here also. This entire part, that also, this also. Rubber. So here's my current keyboard and that's the new one these keys are in one line so this has a larger edge you can grab it from there many keyboards don't have even that edge and you barely can hold it from somewhere so it's a little bit longer wider since it has these plus a larger edge we have that much extra space Let's just plug it in and let's see what will happen. No drivers are installed. No light here. No driver. Now rocket horde. And yes, we have some blue light. Okay, so it should work. Let's see. Yes, the volume just appeared. So you don't need to install anything. Device is ready, it says. So the volume is working right away. Let's turn off the lights and it looks like this. 
the light is pulsing let's turn off the light of the air studio also and there's the keyboard I don't want that pulsing I would like to make those lights always on let's just press something windows key even when I'm pressing it it's still flashing now the Numeric keypad has uh, an LED which is called one the one is turning on and off okay the caps lock has a plus sign this also has a plus sign so the plus sign turns on and off there okay and the scroll lock has a down arrow down arrow is present here also play nothing happened let's see will this do something yes the mute is working mute is working volume record nothing started brightness that's not the brightness of the screen fx it's not doing anything visible another fx I'm not sure what's that I don't have a clue what's that <laughs> ok, M keys nothing happened M2 M3 4 5 so I opened the YouTube page and I thought that this would adjust the volume it's not adjusting the volume it's scrolling up and down that button, the play button is good for a YouTube video so it's playing and stopping the video and if I don't select the video, if I click outside then it's still usable if I go to a different tab so I'm on this tab but it's starting and stopping the music of that tab now that's interesting it's not going forward and on a YouTube video, the seek bar is moved by these macro keys. So if I press M1, it jumps to the beginning. M2, it jumps a little bit forward. M1, back again. M5, it jumped to the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 5, 1, 5 my old keyboard has a sleep key so I can turn off my computer with that key like so I haven't seen a sleep key on this one okay the PC is off and now let's see if I can turn on the PC using my control and escape keyboard shortcut I can do it on that one let's see if I can do it here the light came on and the PC is not starting USB keyboard and that's a PS2 keyboard yes it did turn on the PC so PS2 can turn on the PC USB in most cases cannot turn on a PC once again power it down because it, it has such a dedicated key control escape nothing control escape yes the PC turned on when a notepad is opened, then the M keys are typing strange letters. Exclamation mark is the M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. So this wheel on the YouTube comments page, it's acting as a scroll wheel on the mouse. But if I move it one by one, because it has clicks, it's not scrolling. I have to move it much faster in order to do something so let's check the papers we have some stickers disposal information and a large paper so rubberized paper it's kind of fine an angry cat and it says to go to the website www and download the latest version of swarm so that's the software 
So you have to select a function from those and then rotate the dial. The first one is the master volume, microphone volume, brightness level, effect speed, lighting effect, task switcher and windows dial slash custom. Swarm is the software incarnation of... So here's the Rocket website and go to keyboards and there's the keyboard, membranical gaming keyboard. What I don't really like is that the enter key is pretty small compared to that one. You can find that one and hit it much easier compared to that small one. This has some space between the keys as you can see but that doesn't have any space. Keys are larger and tighter compared to these. Somewhat smaller keys and further apart. So go to the address bar and type in uh, here we have the download swarm driver 160 megabytes click the download button you have to choose between complete and complete <laughs> rocket swarm so come here to this horde download horde module download the horde module via auto updater auto updater install an update the scroll lock is flashing while it's updating. Everything turned on. All of them are red. Horde. Repeat rate. Click sound. It's playing through the speakers. Typewriter sound. Beam sound. So currently the LEDs are breathing on and off. Come here to Horde and Key Illumination. Instead of breathing, let's try Heartbeat. Apply. I barely see a difference. Blinking. Now that's more visible. As is shown here. Fully lit. That's more intelligent, less distracting, brightness down, you can barely see anything on the minimum setting. Now that's more visible. On the old keyboard, if I press, let's say, that key, it typed the lower character. And if I press shift and that key, it typed the one on the top. But on this one, it's exactly the opposite. So if I press, let's say, this, it will type the one on the top, which is equal. Equal. And to use the lower one, you have to press the shift and it will type plus. There is a plus. So here first it will type equal and that is down. It will type equal but that is on the top. So this is reversed. So the primary character is the one on the top, not the one which is on the bottom. Now let's see how to set up these keys. I want to use let's say notepad whenever I press that M1 key. So open the program itself rocket swarm so here on the horde page go to macro manager click on this plus icon it says create new macro folder my macro 01 okay now open that one add a new macro click on this it says my macro 01 so rename that to let's say notepad and press enter now start recording and I will press the Windows key just like I would run a program. So Windows and R for the run and those keys are automatically recorded. Then after Windows and R I should type Notepad and at the end I should press Enter. Enter. Now stop the recording and we should get back here to this delay because we will need it so currently press ok 
you should press this auto apply also like so auto apply so you don't need to click the apply button it faded out to black and that means it was saved now select which key to be used so I want to use let's say M1 click on it and find your macro it was here at my macro and I called it notepad now drag this notepad onto the primary function that is here so notepad onto that shift plus one okay and it's here it automatically saved it now if I press the M1 key notepad should appear so M1 was pressed and it's not appearing it said notepad so the P is not typed correctly notepad is visible here also so I need to modify it a little bit we typed it correctly but there's a delay problem so go back to macro manager my macro open it and click on that notepad and check this fixed delay and don't use two milliseconds or microseconds whatever is that but let's say 12 and now okay it needs a little bit of delay probably it was saved now if i press m m1 notice the run window appeared and the notepad is here so i just press m1 on the keyboard run window appears and notepad appears we should try to use this with a close let's say alt f4 so macro manager my macro add a new macro let's call it close close press enter start recording now i should type alt and f4 let's see if it will work or it, maybe it will close the window i'm not sure so alt and f4 no it didn't close so first stop it let's also add a fixed delay of 12 milliseconds and ok now activate the M2 and find your macro the close and drag it here to the primary function and ok so now if I press M1 it should open notepad and when I press M2 it should close that window whichever window is, is opening so M1 notepad is opened M2 the window was closed let's see if I press M2 will close this also no it's trying to close entire windows okay so let's activate something else let's see let's go onto the desktop I click there M2 and yes it's trying to close that one notepad was opened with M1 M2 closed it let's open let's say a file explorer window M2 and it closed it if you don't want that function anymore then go back to macro manager find your function let's say that close check the close and you can delete it from here and ok and now M1 opens notepad like so but M2 does nothing it's typing so if you want to adjust the volume notice all of them are lit then just press the volume key in this one now only that one is active and now you can use the wheel and it's adjusting the volume of that one if I press it again now all of them are lit that's for recording that's for the light so if I go to the left notice the lights are off go to the right and the lights are on by the way the cable is exactly here in the center and you cannot move it to the side and it's exactly in the way I would like to push it that way but I cannot really but if I raise the legs like so then I can put the cable under and since it's taller it's not touching it so I can push it that way by the way you can set it to hibernate also as it's visible here I use that button hibernate is here at system and operating system and system hibernate just drag that onto let's say there there's a wake here also that one but 
that is not waking my computer up so I don't know how to use that one it's not waking up from sleep mode and it's not waking up from hibernate mode either so I should reset that one by the way these keys cannot be used in all circumstances for example the rocket software is not started and in this case I set up hibernate here for M3 and it's not doing anything the computer is not turning off using the hibernate feature but let's say notepad is here at M1 and that starts let's say calculator it's at M2 that one starts also but hibernate is not working you have to start the program to make it work so if I start rocket swarm at the third M3 hibernate is there now it's working. 